Archie Paintball. I'm going to show you the new Spyro that we got here at the, where are we, MAO? MAO? Yep. The first thing I'll show you is just how to take it off. It's got this two-stage okay. slide lock here. It's in the lock position, now it's unlocked. And once it's unlocked, it still will not come off. You have to press it in, and then you just pop off that back shell. So changing the speed feed is just as easy as doing that. The speed feed comes in the whole unit. Look at that, just hanging there. The speed feed comes in the whole unit, and you can just pop it on just like that. So I'm gonna go over the internals real quick for you. Once you take that off, you've got this slide tab on the tray. It's this tray release tab. You just slide that, and the whole tray comes out, and then the shell is empty. So you can wash this out, hose it out, whatever, nothing matters in there. Three batteries here, Velcro strap. Oh, I'll give you a walkthrough on this. This is a this is a polycarbonate material that's the same as your lens. You can see it's a ton thicker than your lens. So this can take a lot of heavy you know, some pretty serious impact. We were shooting a point blank with three balls at like 350 feet per second. No cracks or anything. The shell's a glass filled nylon, so that's really durable. It's the same material as a Glock, people ask, and that's the same, same material as the kind of they use in the rotor. This is the tray, and this is the G Force sensor. And what this sensor does is it's a shot activation technology. It actually can feel the acceleration of the ball as you shoot the gun. So when you turn it on, this is going to just be pulsing, waiting for you to feed it, and then once there's pain in there, it's going to stop, right? Now when you start shooting, you can kind of like mimic it by just, just tapping this really sharp. And the faster you tap it, the faster that's going to spin with each shot. And that's really just kind of like mimicking the shot. And you know, obviously, once there's a ball in there, it stops spinning. If for whatever reason you wanted to like clear your hop route after the game and you didn't want to wait for this thing to do its like slow pulse, you could uh, you know just tap this button on the back and it's a button that's on the back of the cover here. There's this LED button here. You just tap that and uh, I'm just kind of pushing the button on the board. But you tap that and it's going to force it to, to just start spinning. Uh, the Spire Drive, one of the cool things about the Spire is that it holds more paint than uh, the other hoppers in its class than the Rotor and the Prophecy Z2. Uh, and the reason why that's possible, it's actually smaller and holds more paint. The reason why that's possible is we put the gearbox and the motor inside this vertical column. And so it operates in line with the Spire drive system. Rather than having like different parts kind of bolted on underneath and you have less room in the tray, this makes it so everything, really the guts of it, are all right here, you know, in line with the, the paddle. The way the drive system works is it's shot activation at, at activated, as I said, and it uses the feedback from the motor to, to gauge you know, whether or not it needs to spin or stop spinning. You've got these rubber flexible arms on the paddle and that makes it really soft on brittle paint and then it's spring loaded in this vertical direction so it'll actually go up and down. Uh, so what that does is that helps with a potential jam situation. These arms, it's probably hard to see there, they actually sit a little bit high off the tray. So they're not on the floor, they're a little bit up. And if there's going to be a ball that jams and two balls get kind of bound up and wedged together here, these arms are going to drop down because the spring pressure is going to force it to go down. It's going to slide underneath the paint and then come back up and move the ball out of the way. That's the, that's the logic behind the anti-jam system and really it's more like a jam prevention system because you don't really notice the jam happening. This will just keep doing that while it's spinning in line. It'll just still be spinning. These will drop underneath the ball, come back up as soon as it passes the ball and push the ball out of the way and then feed the next one in. So this system is pretty much, I mean it's jam proof. We haven't had any jams. Uh, no one's had any kind of jam with this system. Uh, it feeds wee balls just as well as it feeds paint. To put the tray back in, you just angle the nose down, drop it in, snap it in place, and then you put your speed feed or your lid right back on the top, and then you get that locked down. Most people are probably going to forget to slide that lock down. It won't be that big a deal because even if you forget, this thing still won't come off. You actually have to give it a full push and then twist it off. So when it just slid down, it's off. Awesome. Your on off button there, and you got, like you said, your, it's your force feed button right there if you want to just kind of force it to keep spinning. That's the Virtue Spire and three nutshells. Okay, and what's the price going? 185. Okay, and speed feet? Speed feet is 35, and actually the speed feet comes with, you get the whole back shell, you get the whole back shell and you get five extra fingers. I was wanting this guy to hand me packaging and he handed to me a speed feet, but there's already a speed feet on there. So. There you go. So, but, uh, you get the whole back shell here and then you get five extra fingers in case you wanted to go, you, right now it comes with this five long and five short installed. You could actually put if you wanted to have all five long on. 
holds the paint in a little bit better. Oh, okay. Uh, and this is actually, if you look at these, these are the straight fingers on the Crown 2. It's a new style compared to our original Crown 2. Um, they're a little bit thicker on the short ones, so the short ones are more functional. They still feed fast, but you know they're a little bit thicker, holding the paint in a little bit better. But if you want to have you know kind of more security, you can put all long in, get those long ones and those long ones, and have it be all long. Oh, okay. So when you get the speed feed for the 35, you can easily switch back and forth with your Raven. You've got to have a little setup within seconds. All right. Thank you. Yep. No problem. Thanks, guys.